Played striker, technically went undefeated. <laughs> Gotta show him what's up. Gotta hit him with that midfield marker. Gotta play striker. Of course, you're gonna play the three rays. Hand traps, I only played three effect Baylor. And three ash. Had the secrets, but I sold them because I needed the money. <laughs> For real. Um, obviously, you're gonna play three engaged. The card's super, super broken. There was there was a few games where I did three engage activations off of a singular engage. For real, dog. Like draw, like activate engage, draw engage off of engage. Summon Kagari, get the same engage that you just used. Use it again, then use the other engage. So you just basically it's retarded. Stop causing. PTSD, bro. It's, it's a serious epidemic. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, first dead, they ain't no fucking reprints, cuz. The three widow anchor, first deads, no reprints, cuz. I'm talking like that now, and my, my extra deck is all wonky. <laughs> and then for spells, just got the two twin twisters. I got one in the side deck. I don't like maining three, cuz if you main three, you're gonna open three or open two, and it, you're gonna have to ditch one for it or ditch something you don't want. I would actually play MSTs, but I didn't want to play MSTs because I don't have secret MSTs. And I'm just weird like that. I have commons, but I didn't want to play them. Um, only two area zeros. Um, I would I would probably play three, but honestly, two was good for me. I mean, with with, with terraforming only be at, being at one. I would probably only play, I'd probably play three next time, but there was a reason for me only playing two. Three called by the grave, because hand traps are a serious thing. You want to call by the grave that ash when they try to hit your engage or your Kagari or whatever, whatever. Then MVP, Mystic Mind, shut down everybody at every tournament. <coughs> Bitch. <laughs> uh, MVP as well, Foolish Burial Goods. <coughs> Don't glitch. Yeah, that card's really, really good too. Play three of those. The one ofs, um, Afterburners, OP is held two for one, essentially. Pop a guy, pop his trap. One Terraforming, wish it wasn't at one, but that's how it goes. One Multi Rule, also wish it wasn't at one, but that's how it is. Upstart, oh, self explanatory, Rhoda, Fusion. Eagle Booster. I love this card. I'd probably play two, but the deck's kind of tight as it is. I want to play two of that. Shark Cannon facilitates Boral Load and Boral Sword Dragon for OTKs. If you can get to it, you gotta open Raid and sit on Mystic Mine and draw a bunch of cards. <laughs> and then you get to it. Another one. I'm playing a lot of one ofs. Uh, Hornet Drums. Um, jamming waves really good that this card single-handedly beat guru control swear that he was stomping me game one i went to game two beat him with this game three red reboot beat him with this this i had to give it back because i borrowed it it was a hercules sky base you need that to recycle your kagari and your multi-roll if it gets blown up and then two traps Judgment and Metaverse. I'll probably... I'm thinking about bumping this up to 3 since it's at 3, but with the time rules, it kind of sucks in a way. Like, game 3, I always side it out. Just in case we go into time, I don't have a chance of drawing it, and it could be something else. Metaverse is broken. You set it, and then, you know, if they summon a bunch of guys, just pop this off, set, activate Mystic Mine, and they can't do nothing. And that's pretty much the main deck. I really enjoyed playing it. It's fun to play. It's not really fun to play against. Because you'd just be drawing cards. Like, just drawing and drawing and drawing. Let's be fair, you literally just sit on Mystic Mind. Yeah, that's, and that's draw cards. Win. That is how you win. Uh, Triple Lancia. That's how you beat Orcus, Thunder Dragon. Uh, this, this actually, I didn't see any Thunder Dragon today, and I played against one Orcus, and it didn't really do too much against the Orcus player, because I was it's sitting on Mystic Mine. It's <laughs> this but, I'm not gonna lie, this, this card right here, I played against a Rogue Hero deck, and this card smoked him, because Malicious, and like, uh, 
I forgot that dude's name. Drill Dark, Dark and Dark the Law. and the fire one. Dark Law, bro. No, I just Widowmaker and take their Dark Law and link with it. Perfect. Or I just blow it up, and I have side deck for that too. I, but Lancia is good against the meta decks right now. Two Ogre because Ogre is good against Pendulum, and I always. Really? Always, always have a rough time against Pendulum. There was a few Pendulum players, but thankfully I didn't play against them because this is one of the only side deck cards I have for them. So they go uh, Electromite, Effect, Chain Ogre, bam, you win. This card won me the game against Guru Control again, and if I played against a Mirror against Striker, this is a blowout against Striker. Explain how uh, this is good against Guru Control. Because Guru itself searches a card, the field spell searches a card, so like, say they go activate field spell, you go change shared ride, draw a card. Then they go normal summon guru, activate, search one, draw a card. So that's already plus one just right there if they want to stop right there. You know what I mean? If they want to keep searching, uh, this I forgot, uh, Garrett. Garrett searched at least, I think I went plus three on Garrett with, with shared ride. If, I, if you go against striker with this, they literally will just pass. Like, if it's a mirror match, if you activate Shared Ride, they're going to pass, because they don't want to give you any cards, you know what I mean? They're going to be searching a lot. Uh, the, the singular Twin Twister in the side deck, because the, I main deck too, and it helped a whole lot against rogue decks, like that Guru Control and the, the hero deck I played against. He set four pass. And, well, he's, he had Shadow Mist, a Link dude, and another guy, and he passed, and... You, I just did it to force out Max, Max Chain so he won't catch me searching a card, then activate it, and then snipe one. Because that always sucks. This is a blowout against any rogue deck. I don't care what anybody says. If this card is legal to play, I'm going to play it in every deck that I play. It doesn't do dick against Orcus. It really doesn't, but it's fire. You always got to play at least one Regeki dog. Always. Red Reboot. I wanted to play three, but it's really, really tight. It, it helps against rogue decks as well, and trap decks, totally awesome decks, heroes, all them. People that play heavy traps, you want to throw that in there. Um, evenly matched. And striker, you're not really going to do too, too much in the very beginning. So if you go second and you side this in, if you see it, you're more than likely going to win if they don't have an answer for it. Um... Extra deck, the one token, the token, kinda, she, I only gained a few life points off of her, it didn't really come up in time, but it's there, and I, I usually always, like, say, before I go into, um, um, Hayate, or Shizuku, or Kagari, I always summon this first, and then activate all my spells, gain almost four or five hundred, and then go into Kagari, Shizuku, all that. I need an ulti, have one on the way, just didn't have it today. Lame! I know. Uh, three Shizuku, need it, it's a dope. Self-explanatory, you guys know what it does. Three Hayate, MVP, all you do in this deck is summon this, poke, 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 game. Yeah. Um, I played this. What? Yeah, dude, it's actually really good. If you go against Salomon Great, you can take one of... It actually came up against Infernoid. I played against Infernoid Layer of Darkness, and I summoned his Decatron from his grave, and he was like, what? You gotta, you gotta summon it with a fire monster. Uh, yeah, it only needs one fire monster. He thought it needed two fire monsters. So I just linked away, took his Decatron, and then... I didn't use the, the last effect. You can search Ash with it, but... I didn't use it, I just used it to link climb into Boral Sword. Um, the Nightmare Package, Cerberus, Phoenix, and, and Unicorn. Where's the mermaid? I don't need mermaid <laughs> at all. I mean, I missed the Orcus deck, it was fun to play, but it's not, not, my, not my style anymore. For Link 3, one Deco Talker. I made him once, just to like, punch, because I don't really do too, too much damage, so... One decode, and it has a negate. People always forget about that. If I have something underneath here, you can negate stuff that targets. Topo, you need to play that in Striker, because it's really easy to make, link for, blow up stuff. And the last one, Boral Sword Dragon. That's how you 
win every game almost in every deck nowadays. If you ain't playing this, you ain't winning. Yeah. But that's my deck. That's my take on strikers. In the trunks, baby.